welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So today from a science subject we are going to discuss about water. Okay children and the chapter is air, water and weather. So we have learnt about air in the previous session and today we will learn about water. Okay. So what is water children? It is one of the basic necessities of life. No. Without water we cannot live. No, without water we cannot live. We in the sense all the living organisms like animals, uh, human beings, I um, mean plants, hmm, birds, everybody. No, so without water we cannot live. And nearly three-fourths of the earth's surface is covered by water. So nearly three-fourths, the maximum amount of the earth's surface is covered by water. No children and where we can see water where we can see water we can see in rivers seas oceans wells no so all these areas are filled with water okay children human beings plants and animals all need water to live so as we said so all the living organisms we need water to live okay children now Water exists in three different forms. Water has also got different forms. How many are they? They are three different forms. What are they? Ice, water and water vapor. So what are the children? Ice. See how it is. This is also water but it has got a different form. Like this is one form and this is vapor, water vapor. Are you able to see? The water vapor again which is I mean this all uh, water vapor okay and this is water okay children and water changes from one form to another on heating or cooling water changes from one form to another form on heating or cooling suppose for example uh, uh, here if you see when this ice is heated when this uh, ice is um, not heated, when this ice again if, if you are keeping it for room temperature in a warm place, this is going to be melt. No, if you take out ice cubes from the fridge and keep aside for some time on your dining table or somewhere in your room, what happens? That ice cubes are going to be melt and we will be getting the water. No, again if this water is heated. If this water is heated, what happens? It is going to evaporate and we can see this water vapor. Can you see the water vapor? When we heat water in a vessel, you can see the water vapor. No. Again, if you keep the ice, I mean sorry, if you keep the water or if you pour water in the I mean, ice tray or if you keep pour it in a glass and keep it in the fridge. No in freezer what happens due to that coldness again this water becomes as ice yes or no children so water changes from one form to another form on heating or cooling okay let us learn about that and now evaporation evaporation this is a change of water okay evaporation is also one change of water okay evaporation is like the liquid substance which is becoming a gas okay liquid substance which is becoming as gas okay and the process in which water changes into water vapor on heating is called evaporation so what is evaporation children the process in which water changes into water vapor on heating on heating this you have to remember very carefully on heating is called evaporation so for example as i said before so when you take water and heat it on the uh, stove so as the water gets heated and uh, starts boiling you can see small drops of water uh, water drops rising no that is nothing but the water is evaporating in the form of water vapor in the form of water vapor okay so like so you can see that these are the water droplets hmm? 
which are coming because of the uh, heat. Now, this process is called as evaporation and we have learnt that water is also present in the atmosphere in the form of water vapour. Now, we also learnt that water is also present in the atmosphere. What is atmosphere children? Nothing but the air or surrounding air. Okay. So, in which form it is present? It is present in the form of water vapour. Okay. And the amount of water vapour present in the atmosphere is known as humidity. We call this water vapour which is in the atmosphere which is in the atmosphere that is air it is known as humidity okay so we cannot see this water vapor which is in the air okay children you cannot see this water vapor but you can feel this water vapor feel in the sense sometimes you feel very sweaty no you feel very uh, like uh, sweaty and very uh, heat type of feel so that is nothing but the humidity in the air because of that we feel sweaty okay children so this water vapor which is present in the air or in the atmosphere is known as what humidity and when the weather is very hot when the weather is very hot more water gets evaporated which makes the weather humid okay so when the weather is very hot very hot in the sense Suppose like sunny day in summers, what happens? The days are very hot because of the hot sun. No. So, because of this, the water gets evaporated. So, already we learnt that on heating, water is going to evaporate. No. In the beginning, we said on heating, water is going to evaporate. And in which form it is coming out? In the form of water vapour. No. So, when there is very much hot, water gets more evaporated and where much amount of water vapor will be seen in the atmosphere will be seen in the sense will exist will be there in the air okay so that is why the weather is humid even the weather is also hot humid is nothing but hot okay children clear yes now and now the rate of evaporation depends on the following factors. So, the rate of evaporation, how does the uh, mean evaporation occurs? That rate is depending on the following factors. What are they? It is the wind speed. Wind speed. What is wind children? Moving air. Moving air is wind. Okay. Wind speed means if you see for example a bowl of water kept under a fan it evaporates faster if you keep a bowl of water if, uh, if you keep a bowl of water under a fan it evaporates very quickly it evaporates very quickly because this water is kept under the moving air under the moving air because and the, and the air is moving very speed no, as the fan rotates speedily, so because of that air, the water also evaporates very fast. Okay, children. And the other factor is heat. And when a part of water is heated, it evaporates faster. No, if you take uh, water in a pot or in a vessel and you just heat it, then also you can see the water evaporating fastly. Okay, I mean you can see much amount of water vapor that is it is evaporating faster. Okay, and now the surface area. Surface area. Water kept in a broad vessel evaporates faster than the water in a narrow vessel. So, if you keep water kept in a broad vessel, suppose this is a broad vessel. If you keep mean uh, have water in this broad vessel this water this amount of water evaporates faster than the water which is kept in a narrow vessel narrow vessel in the sense like this no it is not broad it is narrow no this water does not evaporate quickly which is kept in 
narrow vessel clear children so that is my surface area the surface area in this is the area where the water has been occupied so that is also one important factor and the last one is humidity what is humidity as we said i mean the water vapor in the atmosphere no and how this humidity is going to i mean change this uh, uh, evaporation like water evaporates faster in places with less humidity water evaporates faster no humidity means what children water vapor in the air as we said so as the water vapor is less as the water vapor in the air is less what happened the that is going to dry the air no that is going to dry the air and it is going to go with the high amount of evaporation like the lower the humidity the drier the air and the higher the evaporation so water vapor evapor water evaporates faster in places with less humidity clear children okay because there is much heat water is going to evaporate fastly no when there is much heat you will be having humidity no in this condition water evaporates fast clear children and now we learn about condensation condensation is the process in which water vapor changes into water on cooling is called condensation so it is opposite to evaporation evaporation is on heating it will change no on heating water will get evap mean uh, will get evaporation but here condensation is opposite to that on cooling on cooling what water on cooling is called condensation the process in which water vapor changes into water water vapor is going to change into water on cooling is called condensation okay for example when a lid is placed on a pot with boiling water we can see water drops on the underside of the lid after some time so here is an example for you children so when you just place a lid on a pot okay which is with boiling water no sometimes we boil water and when you place a lid on it on the pot so after some time we can see water drops on the under side of the lid no if you take out the lid after some time you can see some water drops on the under side of the lid okay not on the upper side under side of the lid now why is this this is because condensation takes place when the water vapor touches the cold surface of the lid because of condensation because of condensation what happens when the water vapor touch when the water vapor touches the cold surface of the lid now the because the pot is hot the water why the pot is hot because it is having boiling water even the water is hot but we placed a cool lid on the pot no so then what happens the, this water vapor this hot water vapor when it touches that cold surface of the lid no what happens then condensation takes place and because of that it changes into water okay children so hence it cools down and forms water droplets that's what hence it's cooled down and forms water droplets it is going to fall down as i mean uh, water okay droplets clouds are formed by the process of condensation and uh, you see clouds now when we get much heat when you get much heat no so all the water vapor is going to rise up no and there so they are going to form as clouds no form as clouds after getting cool they are going to form as clouds and during winter early in the morning we can see 
tiny drops of water on grass and leaves see children especially in winters in the early mornings what what can we see you can see very small drops of water and grass and leaves in front of our houses okay see here in the picture so this is all the small drops of water no and we call this small drops of water as dew dew okay they are formed by the condensation of water vapor present in the air so they are formed by the condensation by the condensation of water vapor as we said before the air also contains water vapor after getting cooled after getting cooled because it is winter no we have coolness in the night especially more in the night no nights are much colder so because of that coldness this water vapor is going to be like seen like this on the plants on the grass in the form of dew okay children because of that coldness this water vapor is going to get cooled they are formed by the condensation of water vapor present in the air this dew okay children and now this condensation is like as we said before like uh, to take a vessel and heat the water and if you place a lid so this boiling water when it touches the cool surface of this lid it is going to form as water droplets no now after getting cooled this water vapor it becomes as water no like water droplets so that's what we explained clear children yes now now here is an activity for you and what is the aim to observe evaporation and condensation evaporation and condensation and what do you need you need a cotton handkerchief a glass of water and ice cubes okay children so what are all the activities uh, we explain you in the lessons children please try to do this experiment is all these things because they are very easy and uh, what are all the uh, I mean materials are required are available at home only so with your parents guidance and permission so kindly try to do this experiment so that you can understand the subject well clear children and now see uh, we'll just uh, see how is this procedure now wet the handkerchief and spread it out in the sun to dry so we have taken a cotton handkerchief no so now what we have to do we have to wet the handkerchief and spread it out in the sun to dry just dry it by spreading the handkerchief observe it after an hour or two what do you notice so observe it after some time what do you notice children yes the handkerchief will be totally dried no because of the heat because of the heat of because of the heat of the sun the i mean the water is evaporated no evaporated on the kerchief on the handkerchief so this is what is evaporation on heating the water gets evaporated clear children and the other one is now fill the glass with water and put some ice cubes in it now take a glass yes children so now we have taken a glass of water now this is a glass of water and we have just put some ice cubes in that what happens now so what is the observation okay so after some time you can see some water droplets on the outer surface of the glass are you able to see here are you able to see some water drops on the outer surface of the glass yes this is what we have observed okay so small drops of water are seen on the outer surface of the glass and what is this this is condensation this is condensation and what is uh, evaporation children condensation and this is evaporation 
the kerchief is dried in the hot sun this is evaporation so what what do we conclude water from the handkerchief evaporated as water vapor that is why it dried so water from the handkerchief evaporated as water vapor that is why it is dried no and water vapor from the air condensed on the outer surface of the glass that is why small water drops were seen okay so this uh, because of this ice so the water vapor has been condensed no because the water vapor where it is water vapor from the air no it is condensed on the outer surface of the glass okay children so because of that we were able to see the small water drops clear children so hope you have understood this now we we'll learn about water cycle water cycle so what is it what is cycle children have you i mean ever uh, have you been uh, uh, riding a cycle a bicycle have you seen a cycle uh, tire it's keep on rotating no it's keep on rotating cycle tire so same like that we have a water cycle the sun heats the water in seas rivers lakes and ponds and changes it into water vapor so this seas rivers lakes and ponds so what are all these they are all water bodies no they are all water bodies and so they receive the sunlight they all receive the sunlight no when they receive the sunlight what happens the water there it gets heated and it changes that heat into water vapor in this is that heat in this is that heated water into water vapor okay and this water vapor rises up in the atmosphere where it condenses and changes it into tiny droplets of water what happens again this water vapor is going to rise up in the atmosphere it is going to rise up in the atmosphere in the air where it is going to it cool down it condenses in the sense it's get cooling down and it changes into tiny droplets of water the water vapor is going to change into water drops after getting cooled in the air okay children and these water drops join together to form clouds all this water droplets they are going to join together in the sky to form clouds and inside the clouds what is there the tiny water droplets join to form bigger drops so all small small droplets of water they are going to join to form a bigger drops okay and that drops are nothing but the clouds now inside the clouds we have all the bigger drops of water and when these drops become heavy they fall on the earth surface as rain so when the when the, the, these all drops become very heavy they are going to fall down on the earth surface as rain okay children so this is the water cycle in this is this process will be continuing so that is why we call it as water cycle so as you can see in the picture here it is very clearly shown to you just carefully observe so what is the, this is the I mean the earth where you are having the water no a river a sea ocean so all this water is going to get heated because of this sun no because of this sun so this after getting heated what happens evaporation takes place evaporation is nothing but forming water vapor no water vapor that is and this water vapor is going to rise up no and when this is going to rise up so it is going to get cool by the water vapor i mean by the atmosphere by the atmosphere no because of the cool air this water vapor are going to become water droplets water droplets and all these small droplets what happens what happens they are going to 
join together and become big droplets where you can see like our clouds they are going to form as our clouds now after getting cooled after getting cooled and what happens these water droplets so when they become heavy no when they become heavy they are going to fall down as rain no fall down is nothing but precipitation precipitation is a form of rain snow so any kind of weather condition so where it is falling down falling down from the sky okay so this is known as precipitation clear children so again this when rain comes what happens again water is collected again water is collected in the water body maybe it is a river sea all wherever no so again this water after getting heated forms as water vapor then after getting cooled forms as water droplets and clouds again after getting heavier the clouds again fall down in the form of rain so this is the water cycle clear children yes now so children so we have learnt about uh, water how does it evaporates how does it condenses no and what is uh, humidity and we also learnt about water cycle so tomorrow we will be continuing with uh, more information about water so until then take care and goodbye so thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates